Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about something called as functions in PHP. Basically, uh, functions are common across all the languages, whether it be uh, Java or JavaScript or anything else, uh, and same for the PHP. So people normally uh, start digging in, for example, by uh, installing a blog on uh, WordPress software. And then when somebody tells them that a function needs to be modified, to uh, change some functionality they wonder what actually a function is so let me tell you about what a function is and how can it help to increase your functionality of your website or your wordpress blog or anything else so to start a function it's a very simple syntax that you have to write uh, starting with a keyword something called as the keyword which is function which tells the PHP program interpreter that uh, it is a function and is going to be followed by a function name. So after we write this function keyword, we are going to add a function name which could be anything that we want. For example, my underscore function. It's a good idea to uh, keep these two words separated out so that it makes a uh, lot of sense for somebody who is uh, not familiar with your code or even if you are going to read after some time then you would find it difficult if for example if uh, the function is named like this so better to put some kind of a separator between these two words um, or another way to uh, separate out two words is uh, using another kind of a uh, a syntax where you can just remove this underscore and F and you can write it as capital so this makes a quite a good uh, way of reading the function anyway which whichever way is fine for you you can utilize it just keep it consistent so the function keyword is now succeeded by my underscore function and the next syntax is to have a around bracket open and close so we're going to discuss what is inside these brackets but for the moment let us leave it like that and definitely since every function has to do some kind of work it needs to have a body so this body is uh, written in between these two curly braces like this so we have an opening curly brace and a corresponding closing curly brace and inside this is the area where you would normally write your function body so this is the basic structure of a function now if you want to do something inside this function it's very simple to do for example you want to output uh, let's say a string so to do that you can use another keyword from PHP called as echo echo does nothing but it outputs whatever you are going to write after this onto the browser so if you're going to write echo and then a string which is enclosed in two double quotes so let's say very basic program hello world and put a semicolon after that every php statement like this needs to have a semicolon uh, after it but not with a function you don't have to put a semicolon here only inside a PHP statement so this function is created and basically this function uh, what it does is it echoes the hello world uh, string onto the browser but this function will not be used because uh, this is just a body and we have not called it so to call it we will use something like the same name my underscore function and uh, open round brackets and closing it and just putting a semicolon now why do we need semicolon here is that because it is a PHP statement which you want to execute and hence uh, we need a sem semicolon after that if you go into the browser and have a look at what is going to do which predictably it should print the hello world string let us go and see all 
all right can you see that hello world is uh, printed on the browser screen this is a chrome browser you're not seeing the complete screen but it is a chrome browser and this hello world is coming out of this function so basically you can add this uh, any kind of echo statement right here and you can uh, keep printing out uh, text in here and then we move on to something called as uh, return statement let us say we don't want to uh, print the statement but we want to return a string which will be printed later on by some other function or some other statement so we we have to add a statement we just delete it and we add a statement called as return and this is the keyword so basically it returns something either a variable that has been included inside this function or a string let us say we uh, return the same string back place a semicolon after that save it and and to output this uh, we're going to just remove this and write everything from scratch so since we know that uh, that echo is used to output the text to the browser or to a string to the browser we are going to write something called as echo and then we are going to write my underscore function and bracket open and close and semicolon so basically what it is doing is uh, it is taking this value and it is giving it to the echo keyword which is going to print this to the browser so we just save it and run it again we'll find that the hello world is printed out so there's one way uh, to do this and the another way is we can declare a variable a variable in php is declared like something like starts with a dollar and you can call it anything so i will call it dollar var and then i would assign it a value called as my underscore function so after this php script is run dollar var will have uh, my value written by the my function which is hello world so we'll remove this and we instead we will echo the variable which is dollar var so as you can see this is another way to echo the same thing out so this is the purpose of the return keyword now as i told you that uh, we will talk about the things that lie between them so i'll just remove everything and we'll start again so let us say i want a function which adds to two uh, variables two values and returns you the uh, result how are we going to write it so we'll start with function and we'll call this function add values add underscore values and we'll have an open and close uh, round bracket and then the function body but here we are going to take two values input them and then we are going to uh, we are going to add them and return the result so we will let's say we will have a variable called as dollar a and the other variable we call it dollar b and inside we have another variable called as dollar c which is the sum of dollar a and dollar b once we have this value in dollar c we can return this value to the calling uh, statement so to use this let's see what we can do so we say that dollar result <clears throat> which is a variable uh, equal to add underscore values the function call from above and we uh, let us say we want to add for example 10 and 2 so we pass the values 10 and 2 here and the result should have 10 plus 2 which is 12 when we echo the result
we save it and we test this uh, PHP script out. So as you can see, the 12 has been outputted. So basically, these are called as the argument of the function, and this is called as the original value of the function. So basically, it utilizes a lot of variables. Uh, the important thing to know in PHP is that variables do not have a strong type kind of a thing like other languages. So this could be uh, you don't have to define it as, for example, uh, integer or a string or something like that. Depending on the value of uh, the result, you can copy this thing and then it can be returned into another variable which is called as result which again doesn't have any specific type and when you echo it uh, it will give you a result so this is advantageous and also disadvantageous sometimes uh, you might need to know the type of uh, the vari variable but it's not readily available on the other hand it makes a uh, code very easy to read and understand and the operations and everything which may are, are really easy so I hope uh, that is the uh, gist of it and uh, you were able to understand something about the functions this is just a starting uh, there are a whole lot of uh, things that you can do with a function and we're going to exp exp uh, we're going to explore them in our future videos Thank you very much. Uh, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like and share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.